Hi, I'm Wes Harville with Shawnee Hills Woodworking. Today I'd like to show you how I built this base for my HEPA vac and my dust deputy. Well, let's build it. I wanted to take the opportunity with this project to use all of the scrap plywood I had. So I ripped it all down to size and started assembling. I used brad nails to temporarily hold everything together um, until I could come back with screws and screw it in. In my next video I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So you want to make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be sure to see that video and enter to win. Now let's get back to the build. Some of these pieces were pre-finished, so I had to sand them a little bit in order for the glue to hold. And again, I just brad nailed and then came back and uh, put screws in to hold everything good and tight. I installed four casters on the bottom of the cabinet. Um, the two in the back are straight casters and the two in the front are swivel. And this makes it easy to maneuver around the shop. And then proceed to drill a three inch hole um, for the dust deputy to sit over top of in order for the dust to fall down. He kept saying he wanted me to take a video of him so I figured I would. And then it's a whole lot more of the same. Glue and then brad nails and put it in screws. I didn't have any silicone so I had to use liquid nails to uh, make the seal between the dust deputy and the plywood. These little rails will go on the top just to keep the shop back from falling off. I used two two inch screws to secure this three inch coupling in and then I uh, went around it with some more liquid nails just to make it be a good connection. And then I installed a uh, small section of three inch pipe and put a cover over it to keep it airtight. Now it's pretty much all finished. It's time to put the vac in and connect all the hoses. I'm sure some of you are wondering why I put this piece of PVC at the bottom of the uh, cart here. The purpose is so once this is full, I can take this rubber cap off, and the outside of a three inch coupling is the correct diameter for the inside of a four inch dust collection hose, and I'll be able to suck out all the dust out of my cart and go to my big cyclone outside. Um, you know, I guess it's just moving the same dust twice, but I really always hated emptying the bucket when I had my dust deputy just on a regular bucket. 